still staying on the educational front. We also have uh, news in terms of the verification and confirmation of uh, school choices uh, by 2021 BECE candidates. Uh, so we're going to have a conversation on that. The Ghana Education Service has put out a statement dated yesterday. We'll bring you the scoop on that as we speak to the head of the Public Affairs Unit, Cassandra Chum Ampofo, and you'll be seeing that statement on your screens uh, shortly as we get into the details. So it reads, uh, press release, verification and confirmation of school choices by 2021 BEC candidates. And management of the Ghana Education Service brings to the notice of all parents, teachers, uh, 2021 BEC candidates and the general public the following. So here are some of the points. One, as part of measures to ensure a smooth placement this year, the Computerized School Selection and Placement System Secretariat has made available the choices of schools selected by the 2021 BEC candidates through bulk SMS, USSD messaging, and online for verification and confirmation. Secondly, parents, candidates, and teachers are to be informed that a bulk SMS of the schools selected will be sent to the contact numbers provided by candidates during the school selection. Thirdly, candidates are to check and immediately notify their various heads of schools of any error found for corrections to be made. Fourthly, management wishes to indicate that apart from the bulk messages that would be sent to all contacts, parents and candidates can also dial star 899 star 88 hash and follow the instructions to verify choices made via USSD. It also goes on in addition uh, to talk about online portal options, which can also be selected via uh, CSSPSverify.com. And finally, the verification and confirmation commences today, Wednesday, the 16th of February. Let's connect now with Cassandra Chumampofu, who is a uh, head of uh, public relations at the Ghana Education Service. Cassandra, thank you for joining the conversation. Many thanks for having me. Good morning. Right. Uh, so the statement has been uh, put out. I've already read out some of the details, but what does this really mean uh, in terms of the students, uh, their parents, and, and all of that? Uh, point out the details for us. All right. So thank you once again. In our bid to ensure that we minimize certain errors that come up um, during placement, that um, I did not choose a school or I chose this particular residential status. I wanted to be a board and it came up I've been given a day um, I mean, um, status. I wanted this particular cause. There's a problem with my name and all of that. We have gender issues. We have decided this time that we would send them messages. In fact, when they were choosing the school, we asked them to provide us with the reliable contacts that we can reach them. And so this morning, what we are doing is to send them a message of a display of the schools and details, everything that um, they filled for us. They filled um, in their various schools. It was on a hard copy. It was the school that um, did the input and then brought to us. In our, and then we have the, those details in our database. We want them to verify, confirm that indeed all the schools that you choose are exactly what we have in our system. It's part of the initial processes that we are doing to ensure that we have a smooth placement. And so if you find out that there is an error in your school selection, for example, you chose this particular school, but it came up that there's a different school that has um, been sent to you, just let us know by going to your JHS head. And because they have a hard copy of your choice form, they will scan the choice form and then add the complaints to it and send it by mail to our CSSPS secretary and we will quickly rectify those um, uh, minor errors. And so that's exactly what we are doing and we are starting today, we'll end on the 22nd of February. And so within this period, we encourage all our parents and our students to be on our list to, because they will definitely receive the message unless your number is no more in use. If the number you provided um, when you are choosing the school, is no more in use, you've lost your phone or you travel something, it was somebody's number. I mean, there's no need for, for, for panic. That's where we have provided the other options of dialing star 899 star 88 hash, star 899 star 88 hash. When you dial, you follow through the instructions, you get a display of the schools that you have chosen. Just look at it for us. 
If it is okay, you have nothing to do. If there's a, uh, a problem with this or there's a change, there's any disparity, just go talk to your head of school. And then you can even call your head of school if you travel. You don't need to go to the school. Just call them and have their contact. That's, um, there's a problem with my school. And they will check and then they will do the need to by letting us know. And then we'll do the correction. And so that's exactly what we are doing. Right. And so uh, different alternatives. And uh, for someone for whom uh, maybe... Uh, through no fault of theirs, the number has been blocked or they've suffered something. It means that they have to rely on the USSD uh, yes, option or, or, or going or online. Or go, yes, exactly. CSSPSverify.com, if you go there to you follow the instructions, you get a display of the schools that you have chosen. So check, apart from the schools, check the spelling of your names as well because you, the, if they are teachers or they are hair teachers that tied onto the system. You know, human. It may be that along the line, they omitted an S or an E. It changed the name. And so right. just look at all that for us and confirm before we, we do the actual place. replacement. is not yet out yet. We are waiting for the results to be released, and then we'll begin the process. And so the 22nd is the, the end uh, date. Uh, uh, does that mean after the 22nd, all this process, uh, these processes cease? That, that means you can't do anything else in terms of changes? Just, just to briefly clarify. Exactly. We'll okay. end on the 22nd for this particular fee. Right. And that's why we are encouraging all parents, the guardians, the students to really get involved. Just right. let be on our left and then get the message. If you've lost your contact or your contact is no more in use, what you gave to us, go to the USSD or the CSSBSVI.com and then um, get that process done. Just look at it. Look at it. If it's everything, everything is fine, you are okay. good to go. If you have a problem, just let us know. Cassandra, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us the details, and we wish you the best in this enterprise. Cassandra Chumampofo is head of the Public Relations Unit with the Ghana Education Service. Right before we go, did you know that the income of a young entrepreneur from some selected businesses is exempt from tax for five years? Any young entrepreneur engaged in manufacturing information and communications technology, agro-processing, energy production, waste processing, tourism, and creative arts, horticulture, and medicinal plants does not need to pay income tax on these activities for their first five years of operation. A young entrepreneur engaged in business that enjoys an initial five-year concession benefits from the following applicable tax rates for an additional five years. Accra and Tema, you're looking at 15%. Other regional capitals outside the three northern regions, you're looking at 12.5%. Outside the other regional capitals, that is 10%. For the three northern regions, it is 5%. If you want further clarity on this, all you have to do is get in touch with your nearest GRA office and they will give you the needed information. Ghana Revenue Authority, integrity, fairness and service. As we wrap, a very happy birthday as well. And one more time to Fred Smith and George Riafe of our crew. Wish you the very best. My name is Benjamin Akako. It's been a pleasure coming your way. Look out for our bulletins at 10 and at noon. Have a good day.